Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride on the Metro. Call for Action's Al Vaughters reports a new bare bones budget lays off at least 50, including NFTA cops. And the number could grow larger with a reduction in bus routes. The NFTA board approved the cuts, 50 jobs, and eliminate as many as 30 bus routes. With as many as 80% of the NFTA's riders from Buffalo, Mayor Brown made a rare appeal to spare as many city routes as possible. As mayor, I would certainly hate to see uh, you have to reduce uh, service, uh, knowing the number of people that rely on the service. Of the 50 jobs on the chopping block, 20 would be transit police and possibly outsource some of those jobs to another law enforcement agency like the Buffalo Police Department. The union, of course, is uh, very much concerned with uh, the safety of the public and also the safety of our officers. Uh, and we're doing everything we can to attempt to mitigate this. Executive Director Kim Minkle says they're evaluating which service cuts could cause the least amount of damage. So a lot of it's based on um, ridership numbers. It's also based on other, other means for people to get to work. So we tried as much as we can um, so that we wouldn't strand riders. The NFTA is asking Governor Cuomo and state lawmakers for $10 million to help soften the blow. Provided that New York State and other entities come through with some increased funding, at least for this year, and then we've got to work on a mechanism to make sure that this kind of funding is supported over the next several years. Considering New York City's MTA is getting a quarter billion dollar boost from the state, Chairman Henry Sloma says it's a matter of fairness. You know, every person who ran for office this year said jobs, jobs, jobs. We link people to jobs, and somebody needs to come to terms with that. Ironically, the NFTA is projecting a new ridership record for this year, nearly 30 million passengers. Proposed service cuts could drop that number by about a fifth, which could mean another 50 layoffs. The board is planning a series of public hearings on this next month. Alvarez News 4 at 6.